with the average link 3DI expression, you can place 3D properties, like for example positions of 3D layers, in between others. So in other words, you can link, for example, the position of such a 3D layer to the positions of two other layers. And in this case, we have here these two point layers, and both of them, to both of them I actually just applied a simple wiggle expression to make them animate in 3D space, yeah, so they are arbitrarily moving here now in 3D space. And now we want to connect the positions of these three logos um, to these two positions. So I have here the average link 3D and first link to the position of this point. And then I also link to the position of this point. And now <coughs> I apply it to the position of this Marmo World logo here. And now you can see that it immediately jumps in the middle between this point and this point. So the balance is 50%, meaning the distance to this point and to this point is exactly identical. Maybe it doesn't look now like this, but this is more because of, uh, yeah, because this is in 3D space, yeah? So the 3D distance between this point and this point is really the same as the 3D distance between this point and this point. Now we can do the sa same with the second, yeah, yeah, Mamo World Logo 2 apply it and it also directly jumps here. And now we can play with the balance to get it closer to this point or closer to this point. So if we set it, for example, not to 50, but make it precise to 25 and apply it, you can see it goes closer to this point. And now we apply it also to this one here with a balance of 75. Yeah, and apply this. You can see now this one is more close to this point. And now if you see what happens over time, is that these layers are nicely following the two points and with this balance you can just specify how close it is to this one or to this one.